You're listening to the Running Up the Score podcast. We kind of mentioned the NBA in there. Um, you know, obviously we're, we got the NBA playoffs. Um, we don't really talk much NBA. Um, you know, you're a Celtics fan, which, I mean, it's kind of, I mean. They're still yeah, relevant. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. are. Absolutely. They're still um, playing really well. They had Kyrie's a shocking actually, win the other day. Kyrie's actually snapping back into, you know, yeah, moment. but you don't even know what the future is. You know, yeah. that's that's what the NBA's turned into, too. You know, we've talked about this where you just don't yeah. know what a player's going to do. Kevin yeah. Durant's going to go to New York next year. You know, uh, Kyrie Irving's not staying in Boston anymore. You know, who's going to create the next super team? I mean, this is what the NBA's turned into, and it, it's unfortunate, yeah. you know, to say the least. And, you know, but what we want to talk about right now is actually something pretty – like out there yeah. within the game of basketball and within even it being a professional standpoint. But this we can bring into like basically any sport. Of um, course. But mainly in the NBA and the NFL, they do it more than anything else. Um, you know, it's just where the league comes out and says, oh, well, we missed a call here and we missed a call there. And, uh, you know, that's that's a bad call. We made a mistake. We're sorry. Um,. I'm not about that. I'm not about it. I don't know anybody um, that is. I mean, like, what's the point? What is the point? What it like? I guess to give some doing? fan base a satisfaction of the doubt. But the problem is, is that you know, okay, James Harden, you didn't hit a game-winning three, or you you know you thought you should have been fouled on a potential game-tying three. I should yeah. say, not game-winning, but okay. Well, I know there were plays in the first quarter. Second quarter, third, you play a full game. So when you want to talk about, and even from a fan standpoint, to critique a referee on the basis of one play at the end of the game, like I, we talked about it with the Saints, you know? Yeah, was well, it a blown yeah. call, a major blown call? Yeah, but you know what? They played four quarters, and the Saints had every opportunity to try to win that game in regulation, made some questionable play calling. It went into overtime, too. For a reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It and, went into overtime. And, and, like, and guess who got the ball first, too? <laughs> you know, so... It really doesn't come down to, you know, one call by a referee making the judgment of a game. You know, you play a full game here, folks. You know, you can't you can't sit there and say the outcome was based on something that happened within the last five seconds of a game, you know. The problem here is that, you know, fans want to get, you know, some sort of satisfaction for a blown call. And the reason is it shouldn't be coming from anywhere. And then, like you said, what did you say, that Houston's been looking up the stats of referees yeah, they, or something? they looked like, into – they said that there was 27 uh, missed calls with the Warriors. Um, you know, really? I, I don't know. Like, I didn't like, really I look like, fully into. No, and the, there's no the, reason to because I would have stopped watching. <laughs> I would have stopped reading that article just as much as yeah, you did. I, they they that's supposedly an, looked into that's it. That's an it issue. Was like, I guess, you know, I don't know if it was like the full season. I just want to know, is there was. actually an organization out there that actually, like, you pay someone to do that? <laughs> you pay someone to <laughs> look at, like, you uh, That's know, what I think they did. I think, you know, which I don't, is, they got to have is incredible. look into that. It's absolutely incredible. It's it's nonsense, you know, it's because. It's a joke. It's a, a game, joke. A and, game and isn't going to be based on one play. I, I, and I think it's a joke for the league to come out and say, oh, we made a mistake there. Like, I, I mean, that, like Not for smart. Saints fans, obviously, did it make you feel better no. that the NFL came out and said, well, we made a mistake? Like, no, it's not going to make me feel better. It's just going to piss me off more. Why do you even care? I mean, if someone like, feels better. Actually, I mean, I'm like confused about this whole sensitivity actually, like, aspect of it. It actually happened with my team. You know, they say Des Bryant doesn't make the catch live. Doesn't make the catch. And then yeah, everyone they, talked about him making the catch, Then all of a sudden, yeah. three years later, they say, well, now under these rules, it would be a catch. So it's like... Does it make you feel better about the play, though? Absolutely not. Of course. It still pisses me off because I think that team could have really done something in the playoffs. I, I that, That's... It dr- it boils my blood that it uh, that a league will come out and say, "Well, we missed a call here, and we missed a call here." It's stupid. S- just stop. Let it happen. Unless it's going to change the outcome of that game, it's over. Well, it's now, over. Well, the game's no, over. But the Saints did also hire someone to, uh, or the Cowboys. I'm sorry. Hired someone to make sure that these referee calls stay consistent. You know, this is like, you know, it, it really is an absolute <laughs> disgrace because if you're playing a professional sport or you're actually paying people to play a professional sport for your organization, like, you, you cannot have time for this. 
you know, there's there's one goal in mind and try to give your team the best opportunity to win. Not everything's going to go your way. And we talked about it earlier with the New York Islanders. Has everything gone the New York Islanders' way? Oh. No, of course not. But that's how it works in this game. You know, like, you're in a perfect world, which we all know we don't live in. Things like that occur where everything works out to your, you know, to your liking. But we don't live in a perfect world. No. And, and we're not even close with it. So mistakes are made. And like I said, a mistake is made by a player. A mistake can easily be made by a referee because they're human. And there's always been this mindset where we need to blame the referee. It's not going to do anything. The result's going to stay the same. Well, I mean, we could go the uh, Major League Baseball route and, you know, uh, make robots. I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then, but then you're just ru- stupid. But then it's you're stupid. just ruining the sport. That's the point. It's a human element. People make mistakes. Like this is happening. Yeah, obviously we can say whatever the hell we want to say because we're sitting on the couch and they show forty replays of it. Yeah, obviously they're gonna slow it down. You're gonna see the toenail mm-hmm. yep. on the line. This and that. Like, yeah, it's easy for us that are I, watching the game. I love at the TV. replay aspect because I love it too. But I think it really gave a benefit of the doubt because you know what. Th- these referees are human, and to be able to make a call like that Could you is imagine? very difficult. Could no, you course. imagine if we didn't have replay? Well, that's Could what it was ima- like, like for years. I know, I understand that, but it's like, you know, the way that social media is, like, these guys probably end up with, you know, death threats. The funniest thing is that, you know, 20, anyway, you know, the, 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 the point I can go across with this to end our, you know, to even end our segment yeah, here basically. about this is 20 years ago, things like this happened. Yeah. Where referees made uh, blown calls, umpires made blown calls. I don't think I remember there being a situation where, you know, the league had to come out and make a statement on it, you know, to make fe- to make people feel better because <laughs> it just shows you how things have changed in the last twenty years, not just with sports, but just in the life public itself, life I mean, itself, in public in general, the internet is- emergence, like. Everybody's just soft. Everybody's got some kind of opinion on it. And you it's, know, it's, it's like, it's, come it's, om- on. it's we almost a cater to people. It's Let's almost be a, serious. It's almost amusing. And it's you just legi- you legitimately just want to you you want to just play the game. Let, you know, have fun watching the game. You know, not everything's going to go your way in life. You know, get used to it. I mean, I feel like a lot of the people these days didn't get used to this until they were about 25 years old. Uh, you know, I learned that at about 8. <laughs> so, you know, playing Little League in my first Little League, you know, playoffs, and we lost. Yeah, it wasn't fun, but that's the way life is. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. That I guarantee nowadays you'd get a participation trophy. I hope so. I'd It'd make me feel like, a whole lot not better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, let me get a trophy that says I'm the first loser. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't what? even. You wouldn't even no, want to. No, like, uh, that no doesn't change anything, that. and there's no reason for You're there to be helping. an uproar. That's helping. a whole other subject that <laughs> I don't even <laughs> want to get into. <laughs> I mean, we could go on and on for that, like participation trophies and stuff like that. But you know, we're not fathers yet. We can talk about that because you know, <laughs> my kid ain't getting no participation. You're gonna win, but um. <laughs> But yeah, that's I, I mean, it, it's just it doesn't it doesn't make it better. It doesn't like the NBA, the NFL. They might think it makes it better. It doesn't make it better. It actually makes it worse. I mean, the Saints actually had a parade to not watch the Super Bowl because you guys made that call and then came out and said, "Well, we did make a mistake. We're sorry." You know, unless you're going to turn around and say, "Let's go play the last five minutes of that game," I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but that will do it. I thought it was a great show. I thought it was a great show. I thought so we made some good points out there. I mean, really? I Probably mean, do this. <laughs> I do this for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to do a lot of stuff for you. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to add some comedy to to the to the play-by-play. We do, we do a little bit. Uh, just just a li- I mean, just a little. We got to get. We got to show them a little taste of what we're going to do, you know, um, when it comes to the play-by-play, I mean, of course, there's like so much that we could do. It's just I, I'm, I'm excited to actually do it. It'll be fun. Uh, you and know, you guys I, will really enjoy it. And you I think see, you are. I think you you're going to see that. I probably should be announcing your, uh, your local sports team, let yeah. alone a, uh, a highlight. <laughs> and I, and and you'll also see that I, I probably should be producing it. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good point. laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah. So um, look, be on the lookout for that. It's it, it looks like it's going to be unless we got some more uh, votes. You know, one on uh, Twitter. Uh, <laughs> it uh, it looks like it's going to be K and J play by play. 
Sweet. And, uh, you know, Nicole liked it because it kind of rhymed and, you know, she's all about that stuff. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have to give her we're going to have to give her credit. You know, of course, <laughs> where it's due. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, yes, I know, I know. But that will do it um, for running up the score. Uh, the podcast on Sportscaster Live, Periscope, Twitch, uh, YouTube. You know, all of those good stuff. We're, we're looking to get into uh, Spotify. This, these are the the sites that I'm looking into. Um, I would love to get it on iHeartRadio, uh, but we need your help for iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio um, is based on followers yes of course so we need everybody else's help uh that everybody that's a fan of the show um or you know us and you may not be a fan of us or a fan of the show uh you can still give us a follow uh you know uh but yeah and share us like that's the biggest thing like yeah you might be following us that's all great we love we love that you follow us we love that you watch the shows we love that you listen to the shows whatever however you 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 know Whatever running up the score is to you, um, you being a big help, yeah, obviously listening and watching us, but an even bigger help if you shared us. Like, share us. Say, you know, hey, listen, uh, this is uh, my friend Kevin. Uh, does a great job on the, on the radio. Does a great job uh, doing some play-by-play. Donnie the Voice, they call him. Go check him out. Follow them. You know, and uh, I actually just started making some T-shirts up. Um, so if you want T-shirts that says running up the score, soon to be K&J, play by play, like any kind of logo that, I, you know, I put it up. Um, I'll post it on Twitter and Instagram. You can check some of them out. I only got three T-shirts up right now. You can get them in, um, you know, mugs, phone cases, you know any type of stuff uh it's it's cool so you'll you'll check it out um and buy because you buy i get some money (laughs) we can do what we want to do to make everything so much better like that's the thing like yeah we this is this is a lot of money (laughs) you know this all this setup yeah like right now you're only seeing running up the score you're only seeing him me and two mics you're not seeing the two screens that I have, the two cameras that I have, the two lights that I have, a, a soundboard, <laughs> you know. I uh, see it's, it. It's, it's there. You know, the software that we use. Um, you know, it's going to be cool, actually, you know, quick before we get out of here. I know I, I've been saying we're getting it out of here, but I just kind of keep thinking of things. Um, we're going to have a green screen screen. That's going to be fun. And uh, you'll see that when we do uh, play-by-play a little tease for you uh but yeah that will that will do it for uh running up the score we're actually getting out this time i'm jerry i'm kevin beat breezy beat breezy and it is all over you've been listening to running up the score we run up the score on sports radio you've been listening to the running up the score podcast For more Running Up the Score, go follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at R-U-T-S Sports.